Oh man. I'm so bored. I wonder what should I do today, I know. I'll just make bootleg VHS copies of the Emperor's New Groove while Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man are singing Incredibles too. Ha 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 The next day, the VHS was sent to Kirby's house. Yes, we got a VHS copy of the Emperor's New Groove says we won a contest. Good, let's put in the VHS tape right now. The Naked Ape, is it you? From the worldwide bestseller by Desmond Morris, some startling answers. Hey, Sergeant, did you know that your facial and vocal expressions were developed by the hunting ape more than two million years ago? The naked truth about you, man. Can you take it? Did you know monkeys and apes don't fall in love? I keep forgetting. You know, we could be arrested. We? It's your fantasy. The naked truth about love. Courtship. Cheating. The raw basic drives under the veneer. The naked truth about jealousy. Violence. And the laughs on you. It's quite wild, part of the old reward system. Do you understand? I do. Well, I, I don't. Finger paint me. I'll finger paint you. peek behind civilization's fig leaf. The naked ape is only human. Richard Harris is a man called Horse. He goes west to discover what sort of man he is. He's captured by the Sioux, who have never seen a white man before. He is treated like an animal, fights with dogs for scraps of meat. He's man reduced to his absolute minimum. Christ! I've had enough! You bunch of bloody bastards! I'm not a horse! I'm not an animal! I am a man! I'm going to get out of here, and you're going to help me. And why I do this? Because you want to get out, and that's why. You're the chiller. When you first brought me here, you said I was a horse, an animal. And to me, you were mean, vicious, ignorant, superstitious, benighted savages. And when you fight your enemies and their arrows pierce your skins, you bleed like all men. But it seems to me that you only live to hunt your buffalo, to fight the Shoshone, and to have your women. I know you would say to me, what else? A man called Horse. 
To finally become an Indian warrior, he must perform the sun vow ceremony, perhaps the most electrifying ritual ever seen. <laughs> time from beyond the outer limits of your imagination he's the master of the flying guillotine and he's ready to blow your mind with more nerve shattering special effects than you have ever seen before it's a trip into a world where warriors from the ends of the universe meet in combat that knows no boundaries. A world where silent soldiers of death try everything in their power to conquer the most gruesome weapon ever conceived. See special visual effects filmed entirely in Super Cinevision as the master of the flying guillotine encounters the most amazing creatures in this or any world. As he experiences the most spectacular adventures the mind can imagine. The master of the flying guillotine. And only movie of its kind. The last porno flick. Temptations of Cynthia take 200. How long do you think it'll take you? This is the director. Work of art like this. Uh, who can tell? Three days. Maybe four. These are the producers. It's Linda Love. These are the makers. Walk, walk, walk. I talk. Jump, jump. These are the backers. What this picture's all about. And this man is the first to see the last porno flip. What happened to all the men of the vision? We went blind from watching dirty movies. The last porno flick. I'm gonna kill him. It's fun for everyone. Rated PG. The most incredible action film ever made. Blood of the Dragon. <laughs> Starring the most incredible performer ever to appear on the screen. And the ultimate weapon, six feet of silver death. Wong Yu, Asia's greatest superstar, the king of the martial arts, is the dragon. The dragon, taking on all comers in a film which explodes with action from its opening moment to its last frame. Wong Yu and six feet of silver death. <laughs> Filmed on location in Taiwan with an international cast of martial arts stars. Blood of the Dragon, the most spectacular action film ever made, produced by Park Benji, climaxing in the longest and most exciting battle sequence ever filmed. Oh, my God. 
Michael Phoebus presents Blood of the Dragon. You'll never see another picture like it. Coming soon. This is the dawning of the Age of Colossus. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Charles Forbin. In a few moments, Colossus will address us directly. This is the voice of world control. I bring you peace. It may be the peace of plenty and contempt, or the peace of unburied death. The choice is yours. Obey me and live. Or disobey and die. The frightening story of the day man built himself out of existence. Colossus, The Forbin Project. It's making you a prisoner. Shock, horror, suspense. Created with all the technological brilliance of 2001, A Space Odyssey. Colossus is the ultimate in sophisticated computers. I'm going to try to convince the computer that you're my mistress. That therefore I have to be given the opportunity to see you regularly in private. That way we can pass information back and forth. Four times a week. Safe. And do you think you'll be able to attempt the omen on? Colossus sees all, senses all, knows all, controls all armaments and all defenses. When this emotionless creation becomes the master of man, the result is catastrophic. The Supreme Council of the USSR has ordered as of 2300 hours Moscow time tomorrow. The activation of an electronic brain, exactly like ours, which they call God. They built Colossus, supercomputer, with a mind of its own. Then they had to fight it for the world. The missile has just been launched. It is heading towards the Cyan CBS oil complex. Guardian has retaliated. Retaliated? It may be too late, sir. Oh, my God. And now for our feature presentation. Take a look at that. Pretty pathetic, huh? Oh no. This is a bootleg VHS copy of The Emperor's New Groove which includes the GoAnimate home video logo and some old 1970s trailers. Oh my god. Orison made a bootleg VHS copy of The Emperor's New Groove. He should be in trouble for that. That's it. I'm going to call Pac-Man right now. Hello? This is Mario speaking. Hey Pac-Man, you can't believe what Orson did. He made bootleg VHS copies of The Emperor's New Groove. Who knows? He's going to be in big trouble. Orson. How dare you make bootleg VHS copies of the Emperor's new groove? You know it's against the law. 
But Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man, the Emperor's new groove is not made by my favorite companies or creators. I don't care. You're grounded until Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for Nintendo Switch comes out which is on December 7th. This means no TV, no video games, no anything made by Marvel, Lucasfilm, Viacom, Warner Brothers, Ubisoft, Activision, Mojang, DreamWorks, Hasbro, Sony Pictures Animation, Funimation, Seth MacFarlane, Matt Groening, Roger Corman, Thunderbean, Video Brinkado, Blue Sky Studios, and other companies you like, no radio, and no Burger King or Arby's for you ever again. And also, I'm not taking you to see Mission Impossible, Fallout out when it comes out this July, and no Room 5, Justin Bieber, Megan Trainer, or other music artists for you. Now go to your room and think about what you did young man. And I'll make you watch The Secret of Ingram the Emperor's new group on your computer for four hours straight. No 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 no